chilling in there. Oh, that looks nice. He looks happy. Or she. We have arrived to our favourite park to come to. Um, it's got this beautiful little stream. Well, it's more of a creek and the dogs absolutely love it. It's like, well, this is Walter's favourite place to come. Are you coming back? Are you coming back this way? 
<laughs> Come on then. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> I can see him already. Oh, look at that. You've got the field to yourself. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Every time I come down here and it's sunny like this, oh, it just makes me so happy. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday today and it's one of them perfect autumn mornings where it's blue skies, but there's a chill in the air so you can still wrap up warm. It's really nice. I've been on leave this week from work, not voluntarily, they call it profiling. So I had this week coming up, uh, so I knew it was coming and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna take it off because I haven't had much leave anyway and then my next lot of leave is when we go to Florida. So anyway, I've been on leave all week this week and you know when you're just in your own company for far too long, I've procrastinated quite a lot today. I've been in a TikTok hole for three hours, YouTube on in the background, and I was just like, Frank, you need to move. You need to get out of this house. Just do something to make you feel good. So first port of call is walking, Mr. Walter, and then I'm gonna to go to the gym after this. I've got my snacks with me. I've brought a coffee and I've brought a banana and I bought these the other day. They're like, what do you call it? Is it like fruit loaf or something like that? But I just wanted something to keep my energy levels up whilst I'm at the gym because I've started a new training program and I want to be lifting heavy and like maximum effort and I just feel like you need to make sure you, you feel yourself. Anyway, going off on a bit of a tangent there. This morning, I've also tinted my eyebrows and I've stuck a hair mask on my hair because tonight we are going to watch George Ezra in Manchester at the arena. We, me and Carl absolutely love him. I've had these tickets booked like, I think they come out in, I think it was January or February. We absolutely love George Ezra. This will be our second time of seeing him. I Googled yesterday what his supporting acts might be and one of the contenders was Blossoms and we're massive Blossoms fans. And obviously they're from Manchester, Stockport I think. So if they're his supporting act tonight, oh my God, it'll be like a two in one concert. That'll be amazing. So that's the plan for today walk gym get home sp spruce the house up and then get ready for tonight and we're gonna have some tea at home and then we're gonna go into town for some drinks in the northern quarter so it's not too far from the arena then but close by so also this week i've been editing every youtube video like all the clips that i've filmed i think i've done three and i've just been watching them back and it's good because I can learn of each one and I've finished editing the, the longest one I've done so far which are, is our camping one and I feel like I'm learning from it every time when I'm watching it back and I just was watching myself talk and I was just like oh like you don't talk like that Frankie like where's the pizzazz like where's the personality and I think it came through a little bit at the end but like at the beginning and maybe in the middle it wasn't there but i put it in anyway because i just think you know this is a learning process and each time i'm going to get better and i've like told myself as well like from watching other youtubers like they talk to the camera as if like they're on facetime like with a friend and i was like that's what i need to start doing i need to start talking like this is a phone call and also as well I find it obviously really scary to get the camera out in public because I'm like, oh my gosh, that person's, what if they're looking at me and I'm like just talking to a camera that must look really fucking weird. Um, so I just need to get over it because when you do, like, and these people vlog outside, I find it so much more entertaining than like just watching them film themselves like in the car or in a house. So that's what I'm trying to do. And here I am at the park with a camera in my hand. Not nice in the sun. I 
I'm about to order an Uber to the park. I don't know how he's done it, but he's gone over on his ankle. Keeping mum on her toes, aren't you? I'm gonna be okay. sleeps hello again so we had walked to the park and what we normally do is like walk there do the walk <laughs> and then come back home literally like walk home and it's normally about a nice hours long walk we had sat down at Walter's favorite bench and I threw the ball for him like this was the second time of throwing it and I, I didn't look to see like how he caught it i just sat back down because he's really good at catching it in his mouth and um i looked up and he was like running back limping with the ball and i was like oh no he must have like he must have caught the ball as he jumped up and i think he's landed funny because i've checked his paw i've checked between his toes and there's nothing there and I was literally like, oh my god, we've walked here, we can't walk back. And obviously everybody's in work, because it's a Friday afternoon. And so, thank god I had my phone on me. The only thing to do, which is absolutely fine, was to get an Uber pet back to the house. So that's what we've done. We waited for the taxi to arrive at the park, and then it's dropped us off home. So I suppose that means one thing for me, one thing only. If I'm not going to the gym, I need to clean the house. <laughs> So whilst we're out, 
we've got poppy cam on in the house so we can monitor water whilst we're out and also Kyle's sister literally is like our next door neighbour and she has a key um, and she's on standby so if we ever get worried about him she, like she will be phoned so that's a water update for you hmm I'm looking forward to seeing George Ezra tonight are you? I am can't wait top three George Ezra songs go um, the man yeah you like that one don't oh, you Oh, my three, three favourite. Awkward. <sighs> Top three George Ezra songs. Number one, The Man. The Man. Number two. I'm trying to think of the name of it. I can't remember it. Right, we'll come back to Kyle. My top three is number one, Hold My Girl. I love that one. Number two, Barcelona. I love that one at the moment. And number three, probably the one where it goes, blame it on me. When I dance alone, I'm not. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's called Blame It On Me. God, we're rubbish fans, aren't we? The thing is though, with George Ezra, I feel like when the song kicks in, you know the words? Yeah, I think there's like, but it's his old album, that Staying at Tomorrow's. There's a couple of songs on there that I like. Yeah, I can't remember the name. We do, we do know a fair amount of George Ezra songs. Like when we used to drive back from camp to Manchester, he was one of the people that we had on on repeat on the bloody five-hour car journey we used to have. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not too sure how the copyright thingy magic works when it comes to YouTube but I'm just gonna film a few songs whilst I'm there and I'm gonna put in the clips when I'm editing and hopefully it doesn't breach copyright I don't even know what would happen if um, it did like what happens to you yeah, the song, I think the song was the video. oh that's not so bad have you thought of your top three songs no I need to look on my Spotify She bought these tickets, wasn't it? Back in like January. Um, since moving to Manchester, it's something I do not take for granted that everybody gigs here. If someone's doing a UK tour, one of the dates will 100% be in Manchester, and that's something obviously I grew up without. Like our closest venue in Cambridgeshire was London, like the O2. Wembley Arena in London that was our closest venue for music like big music so I take full advantage of it when everybody comes up to here like we've got Coldplay tickets for next year who else we, we've seen Billie Eilish in June we've seen George Ezra here before we've seen Becky Hill we've seen Sigrid we've seen WWE Wrestlemania <laughs> <laughs> that's Kyle's favourite <laughs> I swear we've seen one more person. <gasps> Spice Girls! I've seen Spice Girls at um, the Etihad. Kyle's literally used to quite a few because he used to work for Showsec back in the day. They're the people that like, um, I was gonna say guard. What do you used to do? Like Just like steward. Steward, yeah. You, Kyle used to steward the, um, the fans um, so they don't like go crazy. So he's seen quite a few people. Tay Tay. Taylor Swift. I'll take that. Um, the script. Oh my god, there's absolutely loads of seen. I can't remember. These big people that you've seen. Taylor Swift's the biggest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're just arriving into the city centre now. Gonna spin you around so you can see. Beautiful sunset sky over Manchester tonight. If 
if you was up there, high rise buildings, oh, you'd have a great view. <gasps> We're driving in tonight. We were pretty lucky. We've got a good few options. Like we could get a taxi if we wanted. We could get the train if we was more organised. But that's my fault because I didn't. Um, I didn't plan it properly. I, I took too long to get ready. Um, so we've chose the option of driving in. It's literally about 20 minutes, if that. And we're going to park at the arena. Obviously the arena car park where we're seeing George Ezra so that's pretty good we can literally walk straight in and straight out when this the concert's finished I love coming into the city centre every time we come here I love it all these people down there all these cars all these cars all these cars they're going where we're going I'm kind of instantly regretting not taking the train Kyle's had a think. <laughs> no, that sounds silly. No, you say that. <laughs> Kyle's had a think of his top three George Ezra songs and he's ready to answer the question. Number one, go. The Mel. Number two. Pretty, sh pretty shining people. And number three. Uh, Getaway. Nice. I do like Shotgun, that's a bonus one. Bonus song. Yeah. That is a good top three strong choices there from Kyle. Hopefully it plays every single one. I have checked out the set list before. I don't know how accurate it is, it is though because usually on Spotify you can find people's set lists um, like on a playlist. But then when I googled it as well, it was different to what was on Spotify. So, But the Billie Eilish one was accurate, wasn't it? Mm. On Spotify. What people will put what they hear. Do you know so. what? I bloody, I love living in Manchester because it's your mates. Look at this sunset view. Another reason why we're not rushing right is because when we came to see Billie Eilish in June, we were standing, like we're standing tonight, and we, and kid you not, this is standard anyway, but we was waiting for what, three hours? Oh my God, like by the time she came on, I was literally like, I need to sit down. Some good, some people were fainting in the crowd. Yeah, and as well. They were bringing out what? We, yeah, they were bringing out water to the crowd before she even came out, like the stewards were. And uh, that's another reason why we're not here super early because we're standing tonight. And although we'd love to see the supporting act, I don't enjoy standing in a crowd for that amount of time. But obviously Billie Eilish is different because we got to the front, um, we got in there really early, got to the front. And then as like the time goes on, you get more and more people come in and then you push to the front and you always get them a couple of people that are like, excuse me i'm just looking for my friend if you're that person why why do you do that just turn up early like me and we can all have a good time together so in the end in that in that concert we ended up just um going to get a drink and then when we came back in we stood like near the back and i had a, I had a better time you can dance on the back you can't dance when you're shoulder to shoulder with people <laughs>
who are here with you. Thank you very much down here. Look at the beautiful people. Thank you very much. Now you know the deal. Please sing along when you want to sing along. Dance along when you want to dance. Ah, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cassio. Join us one last time for the chorus. Okay? Here we go. You know the words, surely. We're a few days in now, and what I've realised is how much I'm enjoying playing older songs as much as these newer songs as well. <laughs> in fact, tonight, the only place I want to be is right here, and I mean that. Um, it feels just the best thing in the world to be able to tour and play again. Um, but saying that, the album still exists and the songs are as they are. And one of those songs you'll stay in tomorrow is, is a song called Getaway. We're going to play it for you now.